You want a treat, Mom? Don't worry, fast foodies. No tricks in this review. Today, my mom and I, we're going to be reviewing something that I think, well, I know I'm going to like it. I think mom will too. We'll see. <laughs> but recently, Nothing Bunk Cakes. If you guys are unaware of what Nothing Bunk Cakes is. They're a third chain that makes, well, nothing but bunk cakes. <laughs> wow. And what a bunk cake is, it's kind of, how would you describe a bunk cake? It's like a, it's like a mini, um, mini cake. Type of, um, like a sponge. Yeah, it's like a like a mini sponge cake. Mm -hmm. And recently they've been coming out with quite a few new flavors actually. They come out with two this month. The first was the uh remember the first? The leche. Yeah, that the was a good one. Leche. That was like and that was the first time they've ever done a filled bunk cake. And mm -hmm. if you wanna see what we thought of that one, actually my sister also helped us out with that review. I'll have that linked in mm -hmm. the description box below. She, I think she scored it ten. Yeah, she gave it a ten out of ten. That was it was pretty darn good. Uh, but right next to that description box is a big red subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that so you don't miss out on more reviews. But after that filled churro bunk cake, I guess they thought it was such a hit that, well, they came out with another filled bunk cake. And I'm going to tell them what this bunk cake is filled with. See yellow and orange color, <laughs> so it must be Reese's. Yes, Reese's Pieces. So this bun cake is a chocolate bun cake filled with little Reese's Pieces candies, not the not the peanut butter cup. Have you ever had the little Reese's oh, Pieces? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be oh, it's supposed to be filled with that. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, I got the classic buttercream frosting. Now I have my tasting spoon, but I think we should get a knife, cutting board. So slip this open and see just how filled it is. Get it out. There we go. So we have it right here. I don't know the truth. When we cut into it. It's like a spider. <laughs> it does look like <laughs> a spider. Like yeah. So when we cut into it, we should see like a little packet full of Reese's pieces. Mm. So, ready? Okay. Mm hmm. Very popping up. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more, but still. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, now, that's yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> it's like a little, it is kind of like a little trick. It's like a little, little mystery, a little surprise. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm just gonna have a bite right there so I can get some of the, the Reese's pieces with it. good but I do think that the uh, the churro one was better mm -hmm. I, I you know like with three C's I expect peanut butter yeah it actually would be nice to have a little peanut butter in it I think what they should have done was similarly to how they filled the the dose of leche with like a creamy filling like a dose of the leche filling if they filled this with like a peanut butter filling, cream. like a liquid, mm -hmm. yeah, like a cream. Paste. Yeah, like and then maybe topped it with the Reese's Pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I, I do think like a liquid filling is better for these type of cakes just because like, you know, it'll like come yeah, out. Yeah, it's too sweet with that chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I think Got more a like a... Peanut butter paste. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, it's tough. At the end of the day, it's a chocolate cake with... The frosting is always... Yeah. Frosting is always good. <laughs> they do some of the best frosting out there. Um, but yeah, and then you get little Reese's Pieces on top. So yeah, not bad, but I'm expecting a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want a good writing? Mm -hmm. All right, three, two, eight. Seven. All right, guys, go. Hope you enjoyed this little yeah, kind of Halloween esque, Halloween esque um, themed nothing bun cake review. Hopefully, they come out with some more. I really like the the direction though they're going with these filled bun cakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could and do a lot of stuff. Nice and... Yeah, they're fun. They're a little fun treat. Yeah. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button 
and to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Hi everyone. What is going on Fast Foodies? Welcome back to yet another very exciting and very special Fast Foodies review. But let's be honest, all my reviews are pretty special and pretty exciting. But this one, this one in particular, is a little bit extra special. Because as you guys may have guessed from that intro, once again, we're going to be having my sister joining us. And I love it when I get to bring on my sister. It's always a fun time. It's too bad that uh, she's not actually here with us right now. I think she's currently in Oregon somewhere. It's cold and rainy there. <laughs> I'm not jealous of her right now, but most recently she joined us for the 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 Wendy's review. It was a pumpkin uh, pumpkin spice cold brew, I believe. And the reason why I brought her on for that one was well because she loves her pumpkin and she loves her coffee. And after she tried that, I stumbled upon another new kind of fast food item that I was pretty sure that she was gonna be a fan of. And so I sent her a quick text and well, wouldn't you know it, because she is the best sister there is. She's actually the same sister. They got me this pretty cool fast foodies shirt. But yes, she said she would love to join us. And now I'll have her introduce the fast food item that we're gonna be reviewing here in a second. But the one difference between this review and the last review is, well, I'm actually gonna be trying it too. So before, she was the only one that tried it, but today, I'm also gonna be trying the item. Now, Jackie, before you come on and tell everyone what we're gonna be reviewing today, there's one thing that everyone that's watching this has to do. What is that? Also, if you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn the notifications on, get more videos. You got it. All right, Jackie, come on here and tell the Fast Foodie Nation what we're trying today, and do you like it or not? Hi everyone, I'm Jackie, I'm Parker's sister, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Churro Dulce de Leche Bunk Cake from Nothing Bunk Cakes. See, it looks very good. They're supposed to be kind of the Dulce de Leche filling in the middle, so I'm very excited to try. Let's see, oh, so pretty. I love their cream cheese frosting always. It has the cinnamon sugar sprinkle on top. It smells amazing. It smells like, a, like an apple cider donut. So I'm very intrigued. I have a knife and a fork today because I'm going to try to get a nice cross section for y'all. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. There you go. I got the cream cheese frosting, the Dulce de Leche Center. Then the cinnamon sugar cake. So I'm very, very excited to try. I gotta make sure I get some of the dulce de leche. That's ah, gonna be a big bite. Let me filling. All right, a little deconstructed here, but this is my bite. Dulce de leche filling, got the cream cheese frosting, the cake, all in one. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. As you can see, my cat has also decided she wants to come try it out. <laughs> I think I'm all 